Welcome back to World Crisis Radio, Webster Top here in Washington, D.C. Now, we need to look at the question of drills and exercises, because when you're in a period of elevated danger of false flag events, um, as readers of 9-11 Synthetic Terror Made in USA know, and also that essay which I put out in the uh, Zero uh, Anthology, in Italian and perhaps also in other European languages by now. Uh, this is how these things are done. The drill is designed to be realistic, but it is then taken live or flipped live. In addition to reading 9-11 Synthetic Terror Made in USA uh, this weekend, two other things you need to do. A movie called The Package with Gene Hackman, uh, from about, what, 1990. It is the story, starts in Berlin in the old days, and it's the story of a clique of Soviet and U.S. officers who want to eliminate a Gorbachev figure because he's signing a nuclear disarmament deal. So they want to have him uh, liquidated. But the way they do this is with a patsy who was brought in from Germany, a fanatic, a dupe, and a technician who knows exactly what he is doing. The technician is uh, Bobby Lee Jones, I think. And then, uh, this one, the package had been around for the 9-11 movement days. Now, with the other one you got to look at is Valkyrie, the Tom Cruise movie about the plot to uh, liquidate Hitler uh, in July 1944. And in this one, I, I would stress the idea that you, if you're going to do operations of this scale... Generally, they require the use of government resources, or at least they require a plausible cover story so that they can be conduited in and through governments. And the way you do this, therefore, is to take uh, your design or take an existing drill or exercise, which is sanctioned, which is legal, which is uh, not something that you've invented, but then you make small changes. And in the Valkyrie movie, it's very clear. Operation Valkyrie was a pre-existing plan to impose a, an, you know, a, a more draconian level of martial law on Germany in response to an attempted coup or a breakdown of the government. It was the militarization of the entire society carried to a higher level. So it was designed to perpetuate the domination of Hitler. What uh, the uh, Stauffenberg did was to introduce changes into this Valkyrie plan so that it could be used to overthrow Hitler and get rid of him. And there's a very interesting scene where Tom Cruise, Stauffenberg, after having made these changes in the Valkyrie document, actually goes to Hitler and gets it signed by Hitler, who doesn't take the trouble to read all the details, uh, so that Hitler has approved the, the new plan, which is going to be used to, uh, to oust him and to liquidate him. So you see the idea. When drills go live, well, uh, therefore, we've got to get ourselves accustomed to looking at drills. Now, if we look at the current uh, constellation, um, let's start with the, the largest one. Uh, a drill is coming up now on May 16th to May 20th. It is called the National Level Exercise, and the lead agency is FEMA. The National Level Exercise 2011 starts on the 16th of May and goes through the 20th of May. Uh, the theme of this is the New Madrid Seismic Zone. In other words, it is, for the first time, a drill which claims to be in response to the threat of natural disasters rather than man-made, rather than terrorism or some other kind of an attack. So it goes with the New Madrid earthquake scenario. Now, just a, a word about that. 200 years ago, this spring, in uh, 1811, we had this New Madrid earthquake. Uh, with this, we are in the area of uh, southeast Missouri, northwest, northeast Arkansas. Uh, it's, it's essentially uh, the states that are involved in this are Alabama, Arkansas, Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky, Mississippi, um, Tennessee, and um, a couple of others. You, you get the idea. Missouri, of course, Missouri. So this is um, 
these are the ones that are involved. And this is going to involve FEMA and a whole series of agencies. And I want to thank some people who have sent me in um, just little notes uh, uh, reminding me that this is now going on. So you can look on the FEMA website and other websites. The interesting thing and the sinister thing is that this is the continuation of the Top Off series. Top Off, T-O-P-O-F-F, or Top Officials. So Top Off, well, the one I think of is Top Off 3. That was held in March, April of 2005. And back at that time, and this is worth noting, uh, we had three drills being done in uh, the spring of 2005. We had Atlantic Blue by the British. We had Triple Play by Canada. And we had Top Off 3 by the U.S. So we're told that the Top Off series has been abandoned, and now this is going to be called National Level Exercise 2011, NLE. Um, these three exercises in 2005 assumed bombings in the London subway, the, met, the underground, the metro, uh, at the same time that an important international conference was going to be held. Well, that then turned out to be uh, in June, July, we had the Glen Eagles conference of the Group of Eight Industrial Nations, and then we had the bombs in the London subway. Interestingly enough, just this morning, uh, the cover-up of that, I guess, was completed when the judge in London uh, exonerating the security forces from any responsibility and ruling out any more public hearings, no public hearings, and no more investigations. All of that is shut down, according to this British judge. Uh, how convenient. Uh, and remember, back in London in those days, we had um, the uh, expert Peter Power going on uh, the British uh, television and saying, uh, I'm aware of uh, subcontractors who were carrying out drills in the London underground, more or less at the stations and at the times when these events actually took place. So when you get that kind of a uh, congruence between the outline in the drill and then what actually happens, this is grounds for reasonable suspicion. <laughs> this is not paranoia. This is not co conspiracy theory. This is empirical, historical work. So therefore, it's incumbent on everybody to look around and just be aware of what's going on around you. For example, Shaw Air Force Base in South Carolina uh, on May 4th announced that they're having a mock war drill. Uh, that is a general war. 42 aircraft coming from other air bases to come to South Carolina. Uh, here in the D.C. area, we've had in this past week, I believe, flyovers at night with a NORAD exercise, Wednesday and Thursday. And we'll get a couple of more here after the break.